Alright guys, today I've got another quick video here. This is going to be on my Tegra Note 7. And I want to talk about the new OT update that just came out recently in the last couple days on this device. Because it's got some new key things that I think is important to know and understand about this device. So let me just go over a couple quick things with you on it. Um, first of all, let me show you what we're running here when it updated. So we were on 4.2, now we're on 4.3 with the last OTA update. And that update has changed. Right there you can see 4.3. That update has changed a couple of things on this device that is very important to note. And the main one is, if you've already unlocked your bootloader and got root access following my last couple of videos, um, this actually took all that out. Um, I took the OTA update in recovery just over the air like everybody else does. And Super Su right here now has no Su binary, so I lost root access. Not a big deal, and I'm going to show you how to fix it, but just be aware that that's what's going to happen if you do the OTA update. Next, what it did is it actually changed my bootloader um, and actually gave it a boot menu, which I actually like. So, good improvement. Uh, but let me show you that. So, if you power off your device, power off. Now, when you get into the boot menu um, or bootloader, however you want to call it, um, there's some options. Before we had a black screen and you knew you were in, in uh, the bootloader because you could run fast boot devices and it would come up with your device connected. So now we're going to get into bootloader really quick and the way you do it is you hold the volume up on the side and you hold the power button. Alright and that is your boot menu. Um, so there's a couple things you want to note in here um, and I'm going to scroll through them. So scrolling is your volume up and down so I'm just pushing down you can see me scrolling through those couple options and I'm just gonna go over these options with you guys so the first option is continue and if you hit that it's just gonna continue to boot the device normally and you will just you'll boot up next boot, is, uh, boot option there is fast boot protocol and we're already in fast boot protocol so if you hit it again I'll just show you scroll up to it hit hit power really quick and what happens is it just flashes because you're already in fast boot protocol. That's what we're at. So you don't have to worry about that one. It just resets to make sure fast boot's functioning correctly for you. Next one is re, uh, recovery kernel. So what that's going to do is it's going to just boot into recovery. Now, from what I've seen, we don't have a recovery for this device yet, but um, hopefully soon. So right now it's just going to boot you into stock recovery, which doesn't give you any options. And you have to hold power to get out of it. I'm not going to do it. Um, Next one is reboot, and it's just going to reboot the device and boot up normal. Or, and the last one is power off. Obviously, those two are pretty self-explanatory. Um, but one thing that you want to note is right here. It says bootloader, build. This was built on December 12, 2013. I mean, they just pushed this update out, but they just built this bootloader just recently. So when it updated the bootloader, it went ahead, and you see device says locked. So they went ahead and relocked your device. My device had an unlocked bootloader came with actually came with a stock unlocked bootloader that's what it came with well when they did this update they relocked it so really quick I'm gonna hook up my device to my computer we're gonna run a couple commands and we're gonna see if we can unlock that bootloader again and get root access back on this device so I just want to point out these key features and under, explain to you guys a little bit about this bootloader but if we ever get a custom recovery for this thing you'll be able to just from a powered off state boot into bootloader hit that recovery kernel launch it with power and you'll go right into your custom recovery which is really nice. So I do absolutely like the interface, the boot menu here in the bootloader mode. So let's hook it up to my computer really quick. Okay, so working it to the computer here. So take out your USB cable and go ahead and plug this into your device. I'm just going to leave it like this, see if I can plug it in here. And we're going to run some commands. Now, if you guys don't have the fast boot and uh, ADB files already set up, Watch my last video on rooting and unlocking this, and I'll have links to that and show you some directions on getting your drivers installed and all that kind of stuff. I'll put an annotation up here um, on the top right here so you guys can click on that and go right to that video. It'll also be in the video description on how to get these next files. I'm going to show you on my computer all set up. So right now we're in bootloader mode. I'm going to run some commands from my computer, so let's go check those out. Alright guys, here's what we're going to do. We have our ADB files here, fastboot file here. I have my root image right here from that other video like I was talking about. 
so we can hopefully get root access again. But first we have to unlock the bootloader. So we're just going to, in this file right here that you downloaded from that last video, just hold shift, right click, open command window here. We're already in bootloader mode, so let's just run a fast boot devices to make sure this device is communicating correctly. Fast boot devices, hit enter. I can type it right. Let's try that again. There we go. And you should see some kind of number, and it should say fast boot. So if we're in that, all we got to do is unlock the bootloader, is type in fast boot. OEM unlock with, well, with a space. Let me try to get that done in there right now. OEM unlock. Okay, so there it is. Fast boot OEM unlock. I'll link you to a uh, place that's got directions for all this stuff. Let me show it to you actually really quick. Right here is a post that just explains all this. And I'll link you to this and talks about the uh, Tegra Note 7 and root access and all that kind of stuff. So you will see that, so don't worry about it if you don't remember these commands exactly. All right, so we got it in, fast boot, OEM, unlock, hit enter. Hit enter. Okay, here we go, this time we got it, guys. So right here it says stuff about unlocking the bootloader. Um, let's see what it says. Unlocking the bootloader allows critical blah, blah, blah. We'll also delete all personal data on your device. So it's going to wipe the device to basically do a factory reset. So it says don't unlock or unlock. So we're just going to go ahead and scroll down. If you don't want to unlock, you don't need to back up some stuff. Say don't unlock and you can always go back. But right now I'm going to unlock, so I'm going to volume down. It's highlighted in green now. And then I'm going to hit power. And you can see on the computer up here, device keys selected, erasing user data. So it's, it's running through this process. There it goes. And it says it's unlocked. You can see the status down here now shows unlocked on the device. Very sweet. sweet. Um, so actually what I would say to do right now before you flash this next part is we're going to go ahead and reboot so or continue to boot. So we'll just hit continue. And we'll boot up for the first time. And then we're going to flash that um, root kernel or boot image, whatever you want to call it, and get root access on this device also. So let's set this boot up really quick and we'll run some more commands from my computer. Alright, here you go. Here is that uh, startup menu. So I'm going to skip through this really quick and we'll get this thing running again. Okay, so there you can see this thing has been completely reset. And just to make sure we still have our USB debugging turned on, yeah, it got turned off. So you got to go back in here, tap on the build number a bunch of times, and it'll enable developer options. Scroll here, developer options, it's on, and turn on USB debugging. Hit OK, and make sure those drivers install correctly on your computer. Where is it at? There it is. OK, there we go. All right. Ah, I needed that one. So the best way to fix that is come in here to your device, go to developer options, turn on developer options on and off, and then turn on debugging again. And this time allow this, this little window pop up. So always allow from this computer. Click OK. And let's try that command one more time. A D B devices. Man, I can't spell today. All right, now it's connected. So let's go ahead and get root access. So we're going to type in ADB, reboot, boot, loader. And that should reboot us into bootloader mode. And it does. So then it also points out right here, device status is unlocked. Warranty void due to unlocking. So just be aware of that. It is void. It's part of what how this works. So we're gonna go ahead and, and test out fast boot, make sure it's working right. So fast boot 
devices. There you go, you got a number coming back, so that's a good thing. So then we're gonna type in a little quick uh, root process here. Let me just show you where it's at. This is it, where is it at? Da -da 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 -da. Right here. This is the command you need, so I'm just gonna copy it. If I can. Copy. There we go. So it's fast boot boot, and then this this file. And just so you can understand that, right there is the file. The file has to be in the ADB fast boot folder, or else this will not function. But there it is, root dash tn seven dot image. So we're just going to type that into our command, or paste it in actually, and hit enter. Make sure this is typed correctly, or it will not work. And you'll see what's going to happen on your device when we do this. So hit enter. And actually, everything is powered up. So you can see what's happening here is it's running through a script. Not really sure what this is. It just booted out a bootloader and booted into here. This should be installing that super user application. Rebooting in 10 seconds. And the device just rebooted. So pretty slick. There it is. Set up. There's your Super Su. No thanks. And you have root access again. If you want to test it, um, you can download an application like Root Checker or something like that. But if you open up it, you open it up and it comes to this at, uh, right here and doesn't give you any other warnings, you are good to go. I recommend downloading or updating it off Google Play now that you have Super Su. But that's it. We just re unlocked the bootloader on 4.3, We um, which shouldn't get locked again, hopefully, after this point. Um, if you take any more updates and we got root access on the device once again. Hope this was informative for you guys. There's a lot in here. Try to clean this up and make it as short as possible. But that's it. That's the new information on the Tegra Note 7. They did also update your camera and your stylus functionality with some new features as well on this new update. Hope you guys like it. As always, Root Junkie out.